hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again guys for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you we really appreciate you do not take your support for granted and we we'll pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country this one is an interesting one really really interesting as jonathan prepares to accept apc's presidential ticket jagaban ready to unleash the unknown we know uh up to now we can't really say where jonathan um where his position is however you know he has stated that um, he will do all his best he will use everything within his power to ensure that um, pdp um, wins the 2023 presidential election and he also confirmed that he was not moving camps but with politicians we never can really tell you know um, there are still speculations going on and arguments as well political analysts are looking at um, the scheme of things that um, jonathan is still preparing he's still watching he's not made it final because even regarding running for the 2023 um, election he has not said he was going to run most probably, maybe because he's not sure which party's um, flag is going to be flying. That is why he's not speaking anything yet. But um, on the other hand, for APC, we know that um, the Jagaban, Bola Tinubu, is someone who is eyeing the presidency's seat. We know recently he celebrated his birthday. And um, as a result of um, what he wants to get, he decided to go to the north to celebrate it. Uh, maybe so as to get uh, support from them and... Um, see how they can support him but anyway guys uh, the one we're getting right now is that uh, there are still chances that jonathan might eventually come to the all progressive congress it's not been um confirmed yet but um speculations are here and there and also with um, the current happenings what is going on in the country but i'm really wondering why jonathan would want to decamp because if he's president if he wants to come back and complete his one term because we know he was only allowed to do one term president Mohammed buhari um, won the election this is the first time in history where an incumbent a sitting president uh, will be uh, uh will be sent out will lose an election let's use that word that's most appropriate we'll, we'll lose an election so jonathan lost the election to president muhammad buhari after all of the lies president muhammad buhari put out there that if he's elected he will make this sector work he will fix the economy he will fix um, security he will do everything right now i think what he was telling us then was that um, if you elect me i'm going to make your troubles worse going to make things hard for you right now he's left the country um going for medical checkup whereas he could not even fix the healthcare sector in the country so that he can use it he can use it he's a human he can use it if he feels it's up to standard then he should be able to use it anyway guys we'll bring you all of the details what is going on it's been stated that as jonathan is making plans jagaban is ready to unleash the unknown we'll bring all of those to you in a moment but before we do guys please don't forget to like share and to subscribe also press on the notification bell guys press that bell until it turns gray god bless you as jonathan prepares to accept apc's presidential ticket jagaban ready to unleash the unknown the war is on information from a close source to the former president good luck Ebele jonathan has hinted that the current situation in the country have pressured the former president to give out body language signaling acceptance of the ticket apc would to him just to stay in power this spells the trouble a lot of nigerians anticipated for the jagaban the former president good luck Ebele jonathan was sometimes in last year wooed by the apc chieftains to come back in 2023 as president because he didn't complete his tenure but as it seems the truth holds that the all progressive congress apc has a plan that will run nigeria for 36 years that is till 2053 so far buhari's governance has discredited whatever will come out of apc so to sustain the party's rule they go for a hero like jonathan Tinubu on the other side have secretly lost the ambition of becoming the president of nigeria he's one of the founding fathers of the apc but it was also alleged that he installed buhari as president with a memorandum of understanding that will succeed him but 
Now the legacy of the party is more important to APC than Tinubu's rule. According to some people's opinion, Tinubu is the third option in the race. Jonathan Osibanjo is a credible, powerful contender to the race. As we have observed, the tactical silence of Tinubu in sensitive matters involving the North and West, all that for this presidential ambition so that he would not offend the Northern elite. Tinubu may not let his last long-waited life opportunity to pass him. He may be forced to compromise the party or defect to another party or form his own party. Well, one thing I still recall is that um, there was a time that Tinubu was squeezed when he was asked that, um, what are your plans? Are you going to be running for presidency? He stated that it was too early. People should stop speculating. So Tinubu know what he's doing. And right now, the, the game plan is that he's just watching the waters, seeing how everything will play out. If um, the North, they finally betray him at the end of the day. Um, He has his, uh, his joker card to play. Which might mean that um, he might defect to another party. But what party is he defecting to? Is he coming to PDP? PDP might not want to accept him. That he might actually form his own party. But um, with everything uh, on ground, Tinubu wants to be president by all means. He's not done with politics yet. He's not done at all. You know, when he went um, for his birthday celebration in the north, we could see how um, he, he started his campaign activities. That is what we could draw from all of it. Because... All through the crisis, when the crisis started in the southwest, Tinubu decided to remain mute. He did not speak for, he didn't speak against. He knows what he's doing so that um, if he wants to come back to the south, um, they, will be, they will look at him somehow. If it's the north, they can still look at him. You see the sort of politics he's playing, um, like a double-edged sword. It's neither here, neither there. Anyway, guys, uh, um, but for Jonathan... APC believes that um, Jonathan is one person that Nigerians still respect. That is why they are still doing all they can. Maybe Jonathan is still weighing the option, but it's not long to go. Now, 2023 is not long to go. And very soon, um, I, I believe that every, anyone that wants to run the race, that wants to be part of the race, will begin to make their intentions known. So far, it's only Atiku Abubakar that has made his intentions known. He has set up campaign uh organizations all around support groups all around the 36 states but he stated that um in a in a short while he will make his intentions known officially but for jagaban he's still playing politics but he has pre-warned everyone he has given everyone a disclaimer that politics is very uncertain so don't be surprised if you see me at the end we'll see how all of this plays out but i believe that it will be a big disappointment if um that is my opinion anyway if uh uh, good luck, Jonathan, moves to the All Progressive Congress. Let's hear your take down below in the comment section, guys. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.